officially recorded. Right, so you've seen the last video, this is where we finished. We're now heading that way. We're going to film, well you've seen the title, but why you shouldn't buy a 300. Now I've had an R3, a 321cc motorcycle, and do I regret buying it? No, because I got this, if you want to know explain that is another video why you shouldn't buy a 300 now this is mainly for the uk europe kind of thing america is kind of different because their licenses are different you could just jump on anything um so there's more of a market for 300s over there because people start off on a 300 and work their way up but here in the uk most people that buy a 300 are 19 to 21 with um an AT license okay if you want to know about that I've done other videos explaining that but this is why you shouldn't buy a 300 in the UK or Europe why is it a waste of time why is it a waste of money okay we're gonna go that way I might go a bit fast oh dear I'm on the way all right let's fucking do this and go this way So yeah, a 300 bike in the UK. So like I said, it's mainly the people on an A2 license that buy them. Or some people do it like the American way, where they've gotten onto their... They've done their direct assets, so they've got a full license, so they can jump on anything they want, and they decide to start on a 300. And I mean, when I say 300, I mean, say like, the R3, Ninja 300, Nound 400, uh, RC390, which are more 400cc bikes now than the CBR 300 and 500. But I mean, the when I say 300, I mean more smaller CC motorbikes, right? Here in the UK, it just there's no resale value. Very, very little people will buy a 300 because most of them are, are newer bikes, if that makes sense. So, like, you can buy a Bandit for. 1200 and less kind of like that kind of range whereas say an r3 are still pumping out two and a half grand so the value of the motorcycle you're, you're getting more for your money from bandits and more people want to get a, say a bandit i always refer to the bandit because i think it's like the one of the most popular bikes and it's a fucking amazing bike but even on that you, you can have it restricted restricted on an a2 so more people are going to buy a bandit and very, very little people go for um, a 300, like a, a bike that you don't need to restrict because the resale value on them is pretty much non-existent. Very, very little people will want to buy an R3, a Ninja 300, 400, that kind of stuff. Because for one, they're expensive still, and two, you can get more bike for the money for a Bandit 600, a uh, Hornet, uh, blah, 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 you know? Yeah, like, they're amazing to learn on, right? Fantastic. The R3 was amazing for me to learn on. Super lightweight, um, I wanted something a bit more sporty, but what I should have gone for is the old Honda, what is it, NC30, the... 400cc bike, right? Puts out about the same horsepower, but... Yeah, you get all the fancy stuff on these newer bikes, gear, indicators, and... Um, digital dashes, and shit like that. But, that's what you're paying. Say, for a brand new R3, look at four grand. That's what you're paying that for? Nah. An even better example, okay? MT-07 or an R3? MT-07 any day of the week. Any day of the week. 
I can go this way, can I? Because, for one, they sound amazing, but you can restrict them. And more, there's so much more market with an MT-07. Everybody wants an MT-07, you know? That's mainly the reason I'm trying to get us, is there's just no market for these small replacement bikes really in the UK. Very little people follow the license, the AT license, so, and very little people buy these small replacement bikes after passing their full test. After passing their full test, they're more likely to buy a Bandit or an MT-07 or something from that market, you know? So, if I could give you advice, don't bother with a 300. Buy something you can restrict and learn that way. Honestly, just save your money. You're not missing out on anything fancy with a buying one of these newer bikes with ABS and that. You're really not. Buy an older bike, save your money, learn that way. Okay? It's, it's, it's that simple. I'm sure I can explain it better in the description, so if you think I'm chatting bullshit, which I am most of the time, um, oh, I've just gone the wrong way. I think I wanted to go, no, I did go, yeah, no, I did go the wrong way. Um, I, I do chat shit most of the time, but like, I can never, when it comes to these videos, I can never get out what I'm trying to say. Like I think, oh yeah, that'll be a good video, and then I, I blank and I can't explain it. But I'll explain, I'll try and write something in the description and explain a bit better. Or we just put down in your comments and I'll either agree with you or I'll disagree with you and we can have a little debate and stuff like that. But that's my opinion anyway, why it doesn't work. Let me know your feelings and stuff down in the description. The comments, not just from mishmash mosh. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I know this, these are kind of basic videos, but I think having these debate videos, they're quite, quite, they're quite good. And having a little chat, getting to know your feelings in the comments. I, I like having a little chat with you, you guys. It kind of makes me more involved in the channel because when I put out these exploring videos and things like that, there's not much you guys comment, you know. And I don't blame you. There's not really anything else you can comment. It's like, oh, I hate the video, or I love the video. This is mainly it. Like, whereas this, you. I'm getting your opinions, your feelings, and I can have a kind of, I chat with you, you know, how are you feeling, how are you feeling, are you good, yeah, you know, I don't know when this is going to come out, but are you feeling good today, I hope so, okay, it's good to hear, I can't hear you, but it would be good to hear if you're good, if you're not good, I don't know, why aren't you good, talk to me, let's have a chat, let's just, let's just have a talkie talkie, okay, I've got to do a Q&A at some point, so if you've got any questions you've got to ask me, ask me on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Follow me on Instagram, okay? I'm posting some cool stuff on Instagram. Um, Will and Sam, you know that place. That was a very nice place back there. And Callum, obviously Callum. Um, yeah, right, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be another controversial topic, video type thing. So I'll see you then. All right, I'm going to shut up because otherwise I'll be here all day just talking to myself, which I do most days anyway. Right, I love you, I'll leave you, peace.